Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we were testing every single mask on Amazon, including ones you can no longer buy because they've been recalled. <laughs> That's right, we got some masks today that contain biomass graphene, which they put on there as like some sort of a like, you know, promotion or marketing, and then they got recalled. So Canadian government, uh, the uh, French government, apparently that available research suggests the particles can cause early lung toxicity in animals, through the, though the risks to human are not yet known. So what happened was they created this technology that was supposed to do something, I'm not really sure, this biomass graphene, and then it turns out that the tiny particles can get inside you and murder your insides worse than COVID can. I don't know, I'm just making that up. Anyway, we're gonna put this thing inside our clamper and see how it tests regardless of the graphene. Ooh, look at the pretty color. It's kind of how you can tell, I think it's got the biomass graphene. It's definitely a marketing term. Ooh, good clamp there, sir. Why, thank you, sir. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are testing to see how well this mask would pull out things as small as the coronavirus. That said, it won't test if evil tiny particles of graphene will get inside of you and kill you anyway. I'm gonna test this mask and I'm gonna risk my life today by putting it on and smelling it. Just don't tell my wife, okay? She gets very nervous about things like that. So you can't buy this anymore. You can't buy it. It doesn't exist. Look at this packaging, it sucks. Oh my God. But there's like actually like leaves or something in there. Is that the biomass graphene? I'm gonna take one from the middle. It's kind of a weird layer there. I've seen masks that are better put together. I'll be honest, I didn't do much research to figure out, ooh, that's a good one. What this is, how this is supposed to protect you from COVID. Um, and the test we're doing is just a particulate test. Risking my life here for you people. It smells like tiny particulates that will kill you. No, it smells like a slightly used boot. Yeah, okay. Let's move on over to the machine and see what it says. Look at this, 92%. Now, I don't think they're making any claims on here, just that this thing is awesome and amazing and it won't kill you. Uh, I don't know, I don't think they're making any claims, but even if they are, they're probably not making, I'll tell you what, it's not, fail, it's not passing any American standard. ASTM level one, lowest level is 95%. This is 91.838. I personally look for ASTM level two or three, that's 98% or better. What was the airflow? 35. Airflow was 35 Pascal, super breathable. Mm. You know, cons uh, coming in at 91, 92%, and considering that it contains graphene, which apparently will kill you, uh, probably wouldn't recommend this mask. Well, don't have to go that far. I'm kidding about the kill you. I, I don't actually know what's wrong with it. I just know that like there was a big deal about biomass graphene and how you shouldn't use it anymore. So your mileage may vary, and maybe this is your speed. Try it out if you want to. It's free country. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you. If you saw this video in the last 24 hours, Bang out some comments because I'm putting a link up here to this video that can explain a competition we have going that you could benefit from. You might want to check it out. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central every day. That's right. I don't care when you watch this. We're making videos. We're testing masks every day at 10 a.m. I will see you there.